Uh, hi, hi folks, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. My name's Sean aka Uncle Frogface and welcome to today's video. If you're new here then welcome, if you're not new then welcome back. I'm having so much fun with this book. We are doing the 642 things to draw book again. I'm going to flick to a random page. We're going to draw something from that page. Um, this book is so much fun, honestly. It is just full of random things to draw, as the title says. Uh, 642 of them, in fact. And it's really fun just to chill out and relax. It's been a very hard few weeks, actually, nearly a couple of months. Um, and art is my escape from everything. So just being able to chill out and relax and do some doodling is just an absolute pleasure for me. So I'm kind of bringing you along in my chill out time. I do want to do some live streams of this. As soon as I've figured out how to do live streams for this, I will be doing live streams for this and we will do two, three, four, maybe five of the things from the book. But uh, let me know if that's something that you want. I know some of you already said yes, absolutely. If any of you've got any advice for live streaming, then again, let me know or message me on Instagram. Uh, I'm always happy to hear from you guys. But let's dispense with the talking. Let's turn the camera around, open our book and see what we have today. Uh, yes, here we are. Wow, my desk really does need a clean. I'll get around to it sooner or later. Let's have a flick through. And what have we got? Oh, just jumped out on me. A beetle. Why not a beetle? I don't think we'll do a musical beetle. I think we'll actually do a, a bug beetle. Uh, but let me zoom in. I will grab pencils as well. So, of course, we've got our trusty scrawler box pencil. These are sharper. Uh, and, yeah, we've got our orange as well. These are kind of my pencils of choice. Although we've also got our... Oh, I'll carry Nor. We do like this one as well. Hmm, let's try that today. Let's put the black wing away for today. Okay, right. Time to put on some chill out music, sit back, relax, and I'll talk through what I'm doing as we sketch this apparently beetle. Hello again, voiceover Sean here. And yeah, as I said, we're just going to have a really chilled time. And looking at my hands, I can see that I need to sort my nails out. I often get comments actually about how lovely my nails are and how unchipped and pretty. And I honestly do nothing with them. I just occasionally trim them and occasionally give them a little bit of a file. Just lucky that way, I guess. And I also have grey hair, so, you know, the luck runs out somewhere. Um, but yes, beetles. Beatles, Beatles everywhere. Um, whenever I think of Beatles, obviously I think of the musical Beatles. I also think of Beetlejuice as well, which is one of my favorite Tim Burton characters. Um, but for this, I wanted to go pretty literal. So I've brought up Pinterest and uh, here's a good tip for you. If you're drawing something where there's so much variety in what could be drawn or what you're inferring, put my teeth back in, what your reference and influences could be then do do an image search on something like Pinterest and then zoom out and just have hundreds of the different variations of what you're trying to draw on the screen at once and then you're not bogged down in the details of I'm going to draw this ladybug or this scarab or this car if you're drawing cars or this particular flower if you're drawing flowers you're just looking at an overall kind of selection of lots of different things. That way you might choose, so for instance on my one I might have the head from one bug, a, a thorax from another, an abdomen from another, a design from a different one or mixes of different ones. And honestly I don't know what I've drawn here other than I was looking at a lot of bugs at the time and this is what came out on the page. I think it's a really fun way to work. It's kind of design iteration. Um, but yeah, so all I'm doing is I'm going in, so this is the, the Koei Noor pencil that came in one of the scroller boxes recently. Um, it's a really nice pencil. It's just a good solid 3B pencil and I really like it. 
So I'm using this to basically rough out my shapes. And this is not going to be a mega detailed bug or a mega detailed beetle. I'm going to put some details in it. But I'm also not really going to be rubbing out any mistakes. I'm just going to be going with it and working that into whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, as Bob Ross says, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. Uh, and that certainly applies here. Speaking of Bob Ross and things on the channel, um, I may have ordered myself a Bob Ross wig for an upcoming video. Uh, so if you are a Rossi fan, then definitely hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and uh, you'll get to see me in my Bob Rossi finest, hopefully soon, uh, hopefully very soon. It's something I'm very excited about. I've been kind of planning it for a while and uh, now I've actually got the time to be able to do it. Speaking of things coming up on the channel as well, I am planning some competitions. So currently, at the time of recording this video, we are on 642 subscribers on the channel. Uh, thank you, all of you. You're very welcome here. Glad to have you here. It's always really nice to have new people joining us and joining the fun of this professional idiot drawing things and painting things and sculpting things. Um, but I will be doing a special video when we reach 666 subscribers, something maybe demonic. I haven't decided yet whether that is going to be a sculpture or a painting or a drawing, but something will be coming your way. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway at that point as well. So it's 666 subscribers. We will be doing a channel wide giveaway and I'm going to open my giveaways up uh, across the world. Uh, so there's going to be no restriction on where you are. I will try and get things out to you no matter what country you are in. So we're going to be doing that at 666 subscribers. We're also going to be doing that at a thousand subscribers and the thousand subscriber giveaway is going to be a big one. So if you want to be in with a chance of uh, winning that, then tell all of your friends to subscribe. And <laughs> we'll get to a thousand sooner and then I will tell you exactly how to win on the giveaways. Um, but I'm honestly loving doing YouTube. As most of you know, I have uh, a, a fairly involved day job uh, that keeps me very busy and keeps my brain very busy. And sometimes it's nice to relax with just a piece of art like this. Sometimes it's good to be involved in a more elaborate project. I think it's been a while since I had a really elaborate project on this channel. I think the last one was when I turned myself into Van Gogh. Um, but I, I honestly love it. I love creating the videos. I love learning about video creation. I love chatting to you guys as well. This is kind of, this is my hobby. This is my thing. This is what I really enjoy doing. Um, so from me to all of you that have subscribed so far and that do watch and uh, do comment and uh, sometimes give me bits of advice, sometimes give me stick when I've done something wrong. Just want to say I appreciate you and thank you and thank you for helping me grow and hopefully grow in the future. So we're now at the point where I've got all of my kind of base done on this beetle and uh, I'm now just putting in some patterns and details really and again borrowing from multiple Beetles. I also had some um, Mexican plate patterns up as well, some like pottery patterns. I don't know if that influenced me at all. Uh, that was on a different tab for something else I was researching. Oh, I've missed one. There we go. I've called it just as so I was reaching for my tea. Tea, very important part of the creative process. Very overlooked part of the creative process. Um, just so you know, every single video I've made, every single piece of artwork I've made for YouTube, uh, and Instagram and just for myself there has been a cup of tea present. I can't tell you how many cups of tea I went through when I created the uh, Winifred Sanderson costume because that was over days and I probably drank far too much tea but I am a huge tea fanatic I drink far too much and actually on day of recording this 21st of April uh, to date myself why not it is actually National Tea Day in the UK 
Um, and I think to this cup of tea that I'm currently having, whilst I'm doing voiceover, which is not the same cup of tea I had when I was uh, drawing this, this is, let me count, this is my 11th cup of tea today. And very nice it is too. Uh, I also only drink decaf tea because otherwise I would be up constantly and I've already got far too much energy. I often joke that I've got um, ADHD. Uh, I don't think I do, maybe I do, who knows. But I'm just, I always have to have something on the go. I often joke that I'm a shark, that I, I'm constantly moving and doing something. I really hate not doing anything. Even if I'm sitting watching TV with my husband, I feel like I should be drawing or doodling or writing or doing something. I feel like I'm kind of wasting time. And then I realize, you know, I'm spending time with my husband and that is a valuable thing as well. Uh, we have to take the value in the everything in life uh, and kind of take solace in the fact that we don't constantly have to be creating things and doing things. Being chill and relax is just productive and just as helpful for our brains because we can let them chill out and relax. Oh, hello Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell's just joined us on the desk. She is now curling up on the, uh, the tiny eye rug that I made in the needle punch video. I joked in that video that Tinkerbell would claim that rug and she certainly has. It's on my desk. It's half the size of her body when she lays down and yet she still tries to curl up completely and get on to the rug. I think I might have even posted a video on, on Instagram of her trying to fit on this tiny, tiny rug. And she's now just looking at me. Hello Tinkerbell, how are you doing? Have you had a nice day? Brilliant, lovely. Um, I think Andrew's going to bed as well, that's how late it is. So hopefully he's going to be quiet and not interrupt the, uh, the voiceover. But as you can see, all I'm doing now, this I'm not going in with colours at all. This whole sketchbook is just going to be graphite. Uh, so I'm just doing black and white with the, the graphite or at least monochrome uh, so I'm, I'm laying in where I want all of the black parts to be and I realize as symmetrical as I want this to be it is not symmetrical in the, the patterning at the top so I do fix that at some point but you know not everything in life is perfect not everything that is symmetrical is actually symmetrical have you ever done that thing where you take a picture of your face draw a line down the middle and mirror it and you have two versions of your face and neither particularly look like you because no one's face is really symmetrical but it's it's really weird i really recommend it if you haven't tried it i'm just gonna drink some of this tea mm. so i'm about at the point now where i'm just gonna fiddle and just refine and i'm just going over and darkening bits and you know, refining little bits. I thought about putting a bit of a shine in as if there's a very shiny beetle. I don't know if it completely works. I don't know really if you can even see it in the final image, but I gave it an attempt anyway. And then of course I started building up over the top of that and um, just giving a bit of depth to it as well. I could have gone whole hog and done a shadow underneath as well, but I didn't this time. I decided not to, I'm just, I didn't want this to look like a bug that was on the page. It's just a, a beast of drawing and that's fine. So I, I feel like I've really gone on a few tangents here. This is actually what it's like to have a conversation with me. If you're wondering, I kind of talk and I go on multiple tangents and we'll talk about a hundred different things. Uh, and I've said before in videos, I'm gonna be wittering on now and I really have to restrain myself but some of you have said you like it when I just talk and I'm myself and I talk rubbish. So that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> you're getting you're getting full stream of consciousness from me. This is me completely rubbish talking. Um, so yes, what I'm going to do now, there's a few minutes left still of this. So I am going to leave you in peace just for a couple of minutes. Just enjoy the last few details. Uh, I'm going to finish my cup of tea and I will see you at the very end.
And just like that, we are finished. That 15 minutes went by very, very quickly indeed, but I really enjoyed that. I feel nice and chilled and relaxed. I've already finished my cup of tea. Definitely need another one. I've got packing to do tonight because I'm visiting family in London. So a long drive for me, but you know, it's all nice to go and visit family, isn't it? And have a few days off just to chill and relax. Might mean I'm a little bit late with Scrawlerbox this month as well, but hey needs must and I'm desperate need for a holiday um, so I had some inspiration from Pinterest up whilst I was doing that and some different bugs and insects up if you haven't drawn bugs and beetles before I highly recommend it there's some really interesting shapes that make them up there's all kinds of 3d blocks and cubes and rounded spheres and all sorts and actually a lot of the things in there are also mechanical machinery as well um, so just kind of really interesting tangent but as always I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and until next time goodbye <laughs>